Best Split Boards We analyze the greatest split boards for the season, which range from lightweight carbon models to powder-ready creations and adaptable free-ride setups. Splitboarding is currently popular because backcountry exploration has increased significantly recently. Splitboards enable access to untracked terrain and big mountain goals by allowing you to split your board on the way up and secure the pots together for a full snowboarding experience on the way down. There are many options to think about, ranging from rigid, mountaineering-focused designs to lightweight carbon and powder-hungry variants. Below, we've chosen our favorites. One of the most reputable brands in splitboarding is Jones, and in 2010, its solution contributed to the growth of the activity. Even after more than 10 years, their flagship model is still one of the most coveted and expensive models available. The solution's especially rigid construction provides it power on significant slopes, while camber underfoot lets you drive it aggressively on snowy ground. In addition, new revisions offer a more powder-specific shape, with an even distribution of spoon bevel at the nose and tail for greater float and increased switch performance, particularly useful when dropping into tricky terrain. This altogether, in our opinion, makes for the greatest solution to date and a top tire quiver of one choice for advanced to expert riders. Our top budget choice for split borders who are just starting out or who want to save money is Nitro's Nomad. With its straightforward flat to rocker profile, directional twin design, and no frills construction, the Nomad is unmistakably basic and yet durable and affordable. We also appreciate that the board has pre-drilled skin attachment holes at the tip and tail. At the time of publication, Backcountry's website still offered sets that were already pre-cut for the Nomad. Finally, the Nitro's softer construction is perfect for rookie snowboarders or people who don't want to test their limits in the backcountry, whereas other splitboards have a stiffer flex for more aggressive riding. Cardiff Snowcraft is an expert in the backcountry and has roots in the Utah Wasatch Mountains. Each of their splitboard models comes in enduro and pro-carbon iterations to tailor stiffness, weight, and durability to suit a variety of riders. The GOAT is Cardiff's top-of-the-line big mountain product, built for efficiency and stability on the skin track and exceptional performance throughout a range of terrain. We especially appreciate the directional twin form since it makes it easier to build a GOAT into a line, dodge boulders, and ride switch through congested areas. Even though the pro-carbon version of this bike is absurdly light at just 6 pounds 4 ounces, less dedicated riders can save about $300 by purchasing the Enduro model 7 pounds 3 ounce. The Rossignol XV Sushi is a powder hound's paradise, to put it plainly. The board has a huge nose, a short swallow tail, and a wide waist to help it float on even the heaviest of days. Additionally, the Sushi's tiny frame that only comes in a 145 cm length enables outstanding responsiveness and rapid turns in confined spaces. Additionally, the Sushi carves well outside of snow even on groomers, and we also found it to be more enjoyable than we had anticipated in slushy spring conditions. Although few split boarders will choose the Sushi as their main board, there aren't many better options for sole riders who want that much sought after surf I feel. With only six main products, Venture is a small business based in Silverton, Colorado, but its boards are highly regarded in the split board scene for good reason. This is a perfect example of something being built by the people and for the people, and the outcome is a set of boards that have been meticulously designed and tested. One of Venture's most well-known designs, the Storm, has a free-ride-focused build for varying mountain conditions and tackling terrain ranging from steep cool wars to constricting glades. The broad waist and short length of Weston's Hatchet Split, which is only offered in 152 and 156 cm variants, may be the first thing you notice about it. It is noticeably nimble and airy due to this shape, making it ideal for spinning, 
popping off pillows, and racing laps in a large powder bowl. The hatchet's playful demeanor is enhanced by its low weight, rounded tip, and blunted tail, which make it simple to throw and control. That combo is difficult to beat for park rats venturing into the back country. Another timeless design that has developed a cult-like following through time is the Jones Hovercraft. It is as directional a split board as they get, and as a result, absolutely shines in deep snow. It has a huge nose, nearly no tail, and an extremely set-back stance. The hovercraft is surprisingly well-rounded considering its powder-specific shape. The wide nose dampens chatter in firm conditions, and the stiff, blunt tail permits powerful carving and leap turns in challenging terrain. The hovercraft has performed admirably in all conditions, including knee-deep powder and steep corn descents from Cascade volcanoes. Burley is the first word that springs to mind when we think about never summer. Our six feet tall, 200 pounds testing attests to the durability of this Colorado-based company's boards, which have highly tailored wood cores and rubber around the edge to secure the layers together and guard against abrasion. Four men's boards and two women's boards make up their modest split board collection, and the icon is their remarkably complete entry-level model. But don't let the term entry level scare you off. The icon will do the job for all but the pickiest backcountry riders, thanks to Never Summer's commitment to quality and clever design touches. Ride Split Pick, which debuted on the scene just last season, has caught the attention of backcountry powder enthusiasts. The Split Pig, which is based on Ride's award-winning warping design, has a short and robust shape It comes in 148 and 154 cm lengths that begs to be dragged through deep snow. However, the board's shorter profile and camber offer it mobility and control on more uneven terrain as well, making it more than simply a POW surfer. Additionally, Ride included a lightweight carbon race base to aid efficiency on the uphill, and a little extra camber enhances contact with the snow. All things considered, the Split Pig is a tempting new option for individuals who prefer powder but yet need a solid tool for all the challenges of backcountry riding. Season, headquartered in the Pacific Northwest, is a relative newcomer to the snowboarding world but is already making waves. Season bucks the trend with a sustainability first, profit second mindset. In contrast to most manufacturers that have enormous quivers that are refreshed every couple of years practices that can encourage pointless shopping. Only four unisex snowboards and one split board are available in their shirt inventory, and each one has a totally black top sheet and base that promote durability and do away with the need for yearly cleaning. All of Season's products also include a lifetime maintenance plan through Evo for yearly waxing and tuning plus 30% off repair services and free mounting your first time, staying true to their dedication to durability. Given that some rocker is ideal for powder and that's what most split boarders are wanting, after all there aren't many full camber split boards on the market. However, Arbor's Coda Split Camber manages the true camber profile reasonably well. With Arbor's GripTech design, which enhances snow contact for enhanced control, as well as a directional twin shape and centered stance that keep things nimble and responsive, this board is especially alluring for those who enjoy carving aggressively. This also means that touring is quite effective for spring mountaineering efforts. Thanks for watching. For your convenience, you can click on the links in the description below and view all details on our recommended products.